So today I would like to discuss about all the about exactly the journey and what is automation and that kind of stuff today. So okay. we will just start giving the demo. Okay. Uh -huh. So okay. first of all, uh, let me start the video section. So before starting the Selenium section, I would like to explain about a uh, bit manual testing concepts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, testing means why we are doing the testing means in order to find out the issues on the application. In order to find the issues on the applications and make sure to improve the quality of the application. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we are not at all saying this is a quality product, but mm -hmm. we can say this is a quality product. Mm -hmm. Right. Because whatever the product we have in the market, we see many product having minor issues. That is expected. Yeah. Okay, so you can't expect different products for the market, but you can say this is a quality product. Every product you have many issues. Mm -hmm. So basically, testing means yes. Yeah, in order to find the issues and uh, have the yes. like you know and perfect, the yes, the yes. flawless and product. Yeah. Yes, yes. So in finding the issues on the applications in the market, we have a two ways to find out the issues on the application in the market. We have a two ways. One is manual testing. Another one is automation testing. So first of all, these two are specific for functional testing. Mm -hmm. Manual and automation both are specific for automation. Sorry, functional testing. Yeah. Okay, manual is functional testing, automation is functional testing. So for doing this functional testing. We have two methods in the market. One is manual, and another one is automation. So first of all, let me explain what is manual testing. So what is manual testing? So basically, before discussing this code, do you know about uh, man testers? What are the responsibilities? Uh, it will be good if you can just uh, give few words on that. Sure. Okay. So basically, the testers' role responsibilities is very, very important because if everybody, you know, if you want to go through your process with someone else, you know, first tell me what your thoughts mean. First, they're expecting only your role responsibilities. All right. So mm -hmm. this is very, very important. As a tester, role responsibilities is first of all, you know, we are working on the requirements. Basically, we are getting the requirements from the clients. Mm -hmm. Right. Getting the requirement from the clients. Whenever we get the requirement from the clients, even you know developer also getting the requirement from the clients. The same yeah. thing, tester also getting the requirement from the clients. So whenever mm -hmm. getting the requirement from the clients, first tester what they will do is first they will try to understand the requirement functionality. Mm -hmm. Okay. First they will try to understand the requirements functionality. Mm -hmm. So, while understanding the requirement functionality, if there is any gap from the requirements, you know, they need yeah. to communicate to the, like, you know, their superiors or mm -hmm. their high level people or, you know, their client. Mm -hmm. They need to connect, communicate to the superiors and get mm -hmm. those things clear. Otherwise, the gaps, they form in the requirements. Once gaps are clear, what they will do is, as a tester first, they will prepare the test cases. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what exactly test case? Test case tells the expected result of the requirement. Expected result of the requirement. So what is expected result for this requirement? If you go into the suppose if you are providing the valid credentials to the login page, it should display that. You should display the home case. If you are providing, you know, any invalid credential, you should display the error message or warning message like this. So, mm -hmm. this case tells means first of all, it tells the expected result of the requirement and it specifies in the test conditions what we are exactly doing mm -hmm. on this requirement. Okay. So, first thing is, first of all, we need to get the requirement from the client normally. Whenever we get the requirement from the client, we need to understand the requirements. No, while understanding the requirement functionality, if we found any gaps on the requirements, we have a status code. We need to involve the status code and discuss those things. Once requirements are clear, 
once requirements are clear, what we need to do is we need to prepare the test case. So we need to prepare the test case. Okay. So test case means it will be expected to result of the requirement. Okay. So after preparing the test cases, once preparing the test cases, same time parallelly development team is developing the code for the requirements. Okay. While we prepare the test cases, development team is developing the code. Am I clear? Yeah. Right. So once the developers have prepared the build, what they will do is they will be giving a release to the QA team. Right. They will yeah. be release the build to the QA team. Right. So mm -hmm. once we get the build from the development team, what we need to do is we need to execute the test case on the build. Okay, so based on the execution only we will come to know that the application is working fine or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so executing means suppose initially we wrote something, you know, verify the login functionality over invalid credentials. Verify mm -hmm. the login functionality with invalid credentials. So it is asking something like, you know, I will show you my test case sheet. How exactly we have a test case? Okay. What I will do is, I will make one test case template here. See, so we have one standard template like, you know, for normally for every organization they have a standard template. So like this, this is a test case ID, this is a standard template, then precondition, next we have a test case description. So we don't have their own template for so test case description. Now test steps. Then we have a test data. And we will get expected as well. Then bug ID or actual threat. Okay. Now status. So it's triggered by this is something different. Okay. So mainly this is uh, very very important. So you will get a test case ID test case funding or something. This is a normal template for every admin ID, I believe. Mm -hmm. yes, but everybody having old template. So they collecting the template from their you know shared folder, their center repository. From there, you know, they document the test case like this. What I tell you for both say for Gmail login content is test case underscore. So we are writing a test case like this. Zero zero one. Test case underscore Gmail underscore zero zero one. Precondition. What is the precondition? I want to check the login functionality of the Gmail. Mm -hmm. I want to check login functionality of the Gmail. So what I'm gonna document is for the precondition. User should be user should be on the Gmail home page, right? If you want to in a particular way, no matter means, I want to should be stay on the Gmail home page, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Test the description. So what exactly I am doing? Verify the login functionality when user enter invalid credentials. Okay, and you are in the invalid credential. So, this is a functionality of the So, next steps, what for doing this operation, what we need to be set the follow. So, first, step one is launch the browser. Launch the browser. Then, step two is enter valid gmail url step 3 uh, enter was invalid username i hope you are getting right i am not going to use you right so yeah. enter uh, invalid uh, password 
for the and click on setting up So test data. What is the test data? We are saying that enter valid Gmail URL, right? So mm -hmm. document here valid Gmail URL and document here valid username, invalid username and invalid password. So username. So username is like Selene. So invalid username. Okay. And again same like password. Password also say that invalid password. Selene. Okay. Now expected result. So expected result application should display application should display invalid login warning message or something else okay mm -hmm. so so what i'm documenting with here is i want to display a like warning message all right so this is what the things whenever we get the requirements after understanding the requirements we need to be document all these things apart from the as well as the bug gating status columns we need to be document all these things Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope you are, you understand what I am saying, right? Yeah. Apart from the actual list, okay. So whenever we get the requirement, if the requirement functionality is there, based on the requirement functionality, we want to develop the test cases like this. Okay. Test cases is based on automation. Without knowing the test cases, without having the test cases, we can't even move to one stage also. Mm -hmm. What? If you want to automate the application, initially we need test cases. We should know what we want to test. Right? Okay. Yeah. So manual testing, so without having a test case also you can do. Because you know we are performing the updates, we are giving the input random on the application and we are giving the application behavior. Because it is possible. But in the worst case, it is possible. But nobody is doing like that. The testing means we should have a test case. So most yeah. companies, you know, they might not be for the process. So if the hundred are for the real process, they won't know what exactly test cases. Yeah. Okay. They are into QA, but they still know what exactly test cases. They don't know about test cases. Okay. So mm -hmm. test case is for the testing side. Right? So we are documenting like this based on the requirement functionality. Test case ID, precondition, test case description, test case, data, expected goal, factor, the bug rate, and status. Okay. Mm -hmm. so once, you know, you are getting the build from the development team, what we will do is, we need to be execute our test cases. So open the class, the browser, enter something, email URL, and click on enter the email URL, enter email uh, data, and something we are doing on the application. After getting this, after click on the sign in button, we are getting some result right from the application. Is there something right? So we are yeah. entering the URL. We are entering the invalid username, we are entering the invalid password and click on sign in option. Right? Mm -hmm. We yeah. are getting something. Okay. So whatever the expected result is, application should be one warning message. If you are displaying the warning message, we are documenting like this. Working as expected. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you are unable to get this, you know, warning message is unable to call it from the Gmail application, we are saying this application is not at all displaying the working message and it is going to the Gmail home page. It's going to mm -hmm. the Gmail, you know, navigate to the corresponding page. No, obviously yeah. here, expected result and actual result both are not same. And that's yeah. So normally here we have expected result and we have a actual result. Now here if you document like working as expected means we are not at all getting any bug, we give a give a status like you know pass. Okay? We give a status okay. like pass. Where that expected result and actual result both are not same. So obviously we found one bug or one issue. Right? Obviously we found one bug, right? If expected result and actual result both are not same. 